June's flood tore up a lot of Calgary's pathway. At its height, 93 kilometers of pathways along the Bow and Elbow rivers were closed. City crews and contractors have reopened a slew of pathways, but getting all the paths reopened won't come quickly. The remaining about 33, 36 kilometers of pathway will be the, the real challenging part. And they're really sort of the two corners, cornerstones on the challenges relate to the ability for us to, to do work within the, uh, when those, I think they're called fish windows, not because the fish are driving, but it's essentially when you can actually work along the river. And when those open, there's really two times of the year, one's about April for about a month, and then the other two months of available window, fish window work is between July and September. So once the, uh, essentially the understory, the infrastructure underneath those um, pathways are built, then parks can come in and actually complete the final work. The other component that we have a bit of a challenge with is, with, is wherever our pathways have crossed over a private, private landowners. And we have to work again to ensure that their rights are respected as we build the pathways. Floodwaters tore up asphalt pathways and tossed them around like children's toys in many locations like Lowry Gardens, south of Edwardy Park. Dwayne Sutherland heads up pathway restoration for the city. He says it could take more than a year to finish up and will cost millions. We're projecting out into 2015 on some of the um, more controversial uh, rehabilitation projects. Um, we've got done what we can this year within the fish window. Uh, anything off the river's edge we're continuing to do, but there are some projects like the one we're going to go look at that are going to stretch into 2015 just because all the regulatory requirements, dealings with other agencies to be able to restore the pathways. The city is also reminding people that the closed signs on the pathways are there for your safety. Yeah, we don't want Calgarians to go into the areas where we're under current construction. So the signs are there to warn people. Uh, we want them to stay out until we actually deem them safe. And then they're open again. Rick Donkers, CalgaryHerald.com.